In the previous video, we took a monkey and gave it a water stone to create a water monkey. At least a drawing of a water monkey. In this video, we will finish rendering it out. Alright guys, so let's get this guy painted up. So what I did to begin with is I blocked in the silhouette of the water monkey and then I did the background. And these things were just to kind of get a feel for how the image was going to look overall and to try and get some balance between the lights and darks. It's really difficult to find the balance of the lights and darks if you're just working on the creature or figure individually without the background. The white background can be quite jarring and it can actually disorientate your perception of what the values are. And by values I basically mean the lights and darks. And from there it was then a case of blocking in some basic shadows on the creature design. And that's what you see to begin with. I wanted to have the light coming from above, kind of like the sun was coming through the water to try and create some sort of ambience to try and make it look like a peaceful image. Also with the light coming through the top it creates more contrast. So in the top corner of the image we have lights and the bottom corner we have darks. And then same for the actual silhouette of the creature, you'll notice that the fin, the end of the fin is quite bright where the tail and the feet are quite dark. And the more contrast you can create in your image, the more appealing it becomes. It can become quite boring if everything looks exactly the same. That's also why I chose the colour scheme in the end. So originally I was going to base it on the Vaporeon, the water type of Eevee from Pokemon. But in the end I just decided to go with orange because it contrasts with blue over the sea. And also I found this cool picture of I don't even know what fish that is in the top right corner. I had that as a reference but I never actually used it. I was going to use it for the patterns on him and then I put the patterns on right at the end and they look nothing like that. So as you'll sometimes notice that the image will just turn into black and white and what I did, if you look at the layers on the top corner of the screen, the top one is just a black block and what I did is I made the layer entirely black and then changed it to colour and what it does is it actually makes the whole image turn into black and white and the reason that I do that is that I can better judge the values that way, the lights and darks so sometimes when you're working in colour and you've been working on an image for quite a while it can be difficult to differentiate the lights and darks because you almost kind of go into automatic pilot and that way it kind of just makes it easier for you to tell what values need changing and what's working and what isn't working. Originally I was going to keep the lines in this image and I wanted it to be almost kind of like, like a comic book style image and to have the colours and the shadows blocked in partly for speed and partly just because I wanted to see how it looked with that effect. But then in the end I just sort of started painting away at it and then before I knew it I just went a bit mad with it and turned it into full blown painting. and. I've sped this up now, so this video is about seven and a half minutes. The painting side of this took about, well, when I was editing it, it came out about four hours, 45 minutes. And then on top of the drawing, which was about an hour and a half or something, this whole piece took about seven hours. So to be honest, I did kind of go a bit overboard with this, but it was kind of fun, so it's all good. So basically when you start painting and rendering, the, the hardest part is the initial parts, getting all the foundations laid down. At this part now, when you start painting, you kind of just go into automatic pilot and just start chipping away at it. It's almost kind of like doing a sculpture and you're just kind of pulling bits away and moving things around. And when you're doing that, you, your brain almost switches off. So there's not really much to say because everything after kind of like the halfway point was just automatic. You can compare it to say like someone playing a musical instrument, they're not thinking about which keys they're hitting, what strings they're pulling, they're just doing it automatically just through practice and repetition.
So I hope you like this image. I hope you've enjoyed watching it. You know, I had a lot of fun with it and I'm going to do a lot more stuff like this. So if you did enjoy it, then obviously please like and subscribe and all that good stuff. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching guys. See you in a bit.